Ladies and gentlemen, Blaine McGuigan, Cyclone Promotions, very proud to bring you international light heavyweight action. Eight three-minute rounds, referee in charge, Mr. Martin Williams, introducing in the red corner, winning white shorts on the scales at 12 stone, six pounds, four ounces. A perfect record, eight wins, no defeat, seven wins inside the distance, reigning WBF international light heavyweight champion from Tripoli, Libya, Malik Zinna. In the blue corner, winning white shorts with black and gold. Weighing in at 12 stone, seven pounds, seven ounces. From eight contests, he has seven wins. One inside the distance, only one defeat. From Pontypridd, Wales, the problem, Jermaine Hassari. Lads, you're both professionals, you're both for the rules. I demand a nice clean contest. Listen to my instructions, obey my instructions, but more importantly, defend yourself at all times. Any questions? Good luck. Well, this is a fascinating fight for Jermaine Asare from Pontypridd, up against a man 10 years his junior. And as Paul was hinting, Malik Zinad has a quite extraordinary backstory now based in Malta from Tripoli in Libya and he is heavy-handed he's a big puncher and he really fancies that he could be special as for Jermaine Asari well, he stalled and stuttered problems out of the ring starting to get towards now or never territory for him and he's up against a very live opponent tonight here Richie he is indeed. Zinaid, big puncher, isn't he? Knocked out seven opponents from his eight contests. Tall, rangy. He's, he started fairly con oh, confidently as well. Great right hand day from Zinaid. He caught Asare. Zinaid with early success here inside the first minute of the fight. Asare beaten once. That was. A knockout loss against the very heavy-handed Eric McConzo. And under pressure here, his knees certainly buckled. Long arms, hasn't he, Zinaid? Looking to land that right hand as he comes forward on that front foot. If that right hand connects, there's a bit of power behind it. And Azari, I don't think he's fully recovered yet, you know. He's trying to set up that right hand, isn't he, Zinaid? Donny Lalonde in his corner. Remember him flooring Sugar Ray Leonard all those years ago. Ended up losing, but always been one of the most fascinating characters in boxing, Lalonde, doing things at a very different way. And he fancies that Zinaid could be special, and he looks it here. Asari's legs are all over the place in this opening round. Big punches again going in from Zinaid, especially the right hand, but the left up come through as well. Azari has got to keep his hands up. He's got to move his head. Zinaid just showing a bit of lack of experience here because he should be jumping on Azari here. Giving him time to recover. Looks for the right hand. Azari down. What a shot from Zinaid. Donny Lalonde tells him to go to the neutral corner. And he is brutally knocked out. Jermaine Asare in the opening round. Lalonde says that he could be a big star. And he's performed like one here, Richie. But Asare still down with the medical team. And Zine classy enough to just tone the celebrations down. But what a performance that was. Yeah, terrific stuff. It was a tremendous right hand that actually finished uh, the job off. Asare just walked onto it. Big shot. Let's hope the lad's all right. As you said, they've just toned these, the celebrations. To congratulate him and uh, just, I think, encourage him to tone it down. And he did that very quickly. Donny Lalonde himself, Dave, if you remember. He, he was a terrific puncher himself, wasn't he, Donny Lalonde? So he'll be very pleased um, with his boxer's performance there. Tremendous power, leverage in those shots. Yeah, excellent. This kid's going places. Well, there's uh, Zinaid. 
Just getting uh, the gloves taken off there by Donny Lalonde. Oh, you wonder where he might go. Asare is still down, is just being tended to. And they will take their time. He's just uh, raising his head, taking dig big deep breaths, and they're making sure that Asare is okay. Let's have a look, Dave, at some of the action here. The right hand comes through there. He actually gets caught with it with a left hand himself, but then he delivers a, a right hand counter. Terrific shot. So he got caught with the shot himself, but he delivered a right hand in that attack. But this is the shot there. That was an absolute peach of a punch. That was a little bit later on in the round, and Asari did well to actually get through it, but his legs are all over the place. He just manages to hold on. And then that's the knockout. That was the bingo punch. That was a hell of a punch, wasn't it? Well, thankfully, Asare is slowly sitting up now. Just uh, given oxygen, knows where he is, but he's going to get, they're going to take their time. It's the right thing to do and get him Absolutely. very slowly to his feet. Um, you wonder where he goes now. We hope, first of all, though, that he's going to be okay. He's going to be monitored now. That's really important as well. They'll probably take him to hospital now. He'll have a night in the hospital, Dave, I should think, just to make sure everything is okay. And that's nice from Zanade as well. Still getting all the treatment that he needs. All the help that's ringside in every fight these days but Asare handed his uh, second defeat there's Donny Lalonde on the uh, right of the picture with the big smile and Dave he doesn't bother he's not bothered where he boxes is he boxing Germany yeah, Russia absolutely. France Hungary and they're in they're in the UK well he's now won nine out of nine eight of them knockouts and a brutal knockout here of Jermaine Asare and you wonder at the age of 33 where he goes next. But as I said, that doesn't matter at the moment. What matters is that he's okay. And it's uh, naive to think that just because he's sitting on his stool and he's been on his feet that he is, we need to make sure that he's monitored. The point Richie makes that he'll be taken to hospital now for tests. And it's so important, these moments after a knockout like that and a defeat like that, he looks disconsolate, doesn't he? Jermaine Asari. And we're still waiting for uh, just uh, an announcement of the uh, official result from uh, Craig Stephen. Applause for Asari. Well, that's great to see. He's on, on his feet, on his own there. Obviously desperately disappointed, but still he seemed to be okay, Dave. Yeah, at least he's now conversant, talking to the referee, Martin Williams. And he'll soon make his way out of the ring. Well, let's uh, get over now to Craig for the Ladies official result. The referee will bring together our boxers. Before we declare the result, would you please show your appreciation for both our boxers in the ring? The official time, two minutes, 18 seconds of round number one. Referee Martin Williams dispenses with the count. The winner by technical count out, still undefeated. From Libya, Malik Zinna. And ladies and gentlemen, and please, your appreciation. Continues to impress Malik Zinaid, the winner by knockout. Where are we going, John? And it's probably the right moment also on the back of Craig Stevens.